Yo, welcome back to another episode of Ozark Season 1, Episode 2. The title's called Black Cat. I'm interested to see what we're going to be given here. Uh, I'm excited for the continue this journey with you, uh, with you all. It's it's so exciting. I'm so pumped. Um, I did want to say that I while I was editing the first episode, I figured out who was the drug lord. He was in La Bamba and he played Richie Valen's brother. Uh, the way how I am, I'm very stubborn when it comes to finding individuals who played another film that I've seen. And I will try to figure out to the best of my ability and wait for like 24, 36 hours before I truly submit. Unless I truly don't know and I truly can't remember where I saw them from. Uh, but luckily I figured it out when I was editing like what an hour or so later. So about an, about an hour or two after I watched it, I finally figured out where he where, um, why he looks so familiar. But yeah, I, I'm really excited to see them in the new environment that they're going to be in in the what ozarks right but yeah let's jump right into it i'm so excited this, this is gonna be insane <sighs> okay let's go netflix original and with a small business at times there comes transition. a bit of a transition thank you wendy and and whenever a small business transitions more wasted food that's He's awesome. not saying anything. Uh, so today, while your mom is buying us a new house, uh, you two are to plant yourselves here. That is your job. Oh. Everything we have of value is in that room. Really? Yeah. You're not going to be honest with us, either of you? What are we doing here? Enough already, Christ! Sorry, man. We're just finishing up breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> And I'd love to not have to turn the room upside down to find the clicker. <laughs> What's our story for the kids? Yeah. There was an innocent man who was murdered. Who you were cheating with. Nah, bruh. You know. He was a good man. Oh, please. Relax. He, he only did good things in this world. Not like Bruce. They marry him. People They're cheat. Cheating. Oh my lord, she's trying to justify it. And we are not husband and wife anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Why does she get so many texts every night? Why does she have to leave the room to make a phone call? I wonder who's fucking my wife. So that's my bad. In fact, the satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement is the only thing that gets me to sleep at night. <laughs> Why are you so mad? Like he speak he spoke the truth. Can't handle the truth. This shit is intense. Is she hitting him even? Uh huh? Is she the one that was cheating? Yeah. He should, okay, got it. So she's she's great. I bet it would feel a lot better if I wasn't just an investor and I was also a client. Uh, I'm looking for storage space myself, so I will deal with whatever's on the inside of it for how about seventy-five bucks a month? What do you say? Hundred. Hmm. Uh, nobody claims it. I inherit it. Oh. Where are you going? What about our business arrangement? No arrangement. You rented storage for me. End of story. Oh, wow. Uh, you almost had him. If there's more product in here and a little better lighting, we'll get more people in and the aesthetic can come up and then the clientele can come up a little bit. Um... He's struggling. <laughs> he got he gotta figure this out within the week, right? I believe that's what um his boss said. Lost small town folk. 
They don't want to. They just like how life is. Oh, he's working at an arcade. Okay. Hmm. Dad said to stay here. What to guard three iPads and a Pandora bracelet? How about it? <sighs> Bro, just listen. Recoup 100% of my investment as soon as possible, and then I'd have 25%. Sorry? My cut. We're washing your money. Aha! All right, so it was built in 75. Well, that's a nice looking house. Actually, it's under your budget. That's wild. What? What's down there? Oh, bro, you're scaring me. You don't fall. <laughs> What's he doing? Is he dipping too? Hot plate in the fridge, I can move downstairs. Any luck, we can go weeks without seeing each other. Well, there it is. I understand it's an unusual condition. Oh, I should be fine. This isn't your boat, is it? The house, college, any of it? Wow. Dang. Please, why are you going to this water? And you're going to fall with the laptops and all that. Oh, my gosh. You can have that. Sure. Positive. That was very nice. Work, which, if given a choice, like us, you'd gladly forego. So uh, my guess is that this all comes down to simple run-of-the-mill laziness. Shut up. <laughs> and do the, the Langmore's boat? Not historically, no, ma'am. I would think that boats would be very valuable around here. Do they pay taxes? <laughs> Don't put down anything around her that you're fond of. Hey, why do I buy you a phone if you don't answer it? It's charging, okay? Where'd you get this? A friend. Me. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. God. Mom says that girl took something. That she's cousins with those two assholes. Do I ask that much of you, Charlotte? Maybe you need to tell her. But she should also just listen. This is wild. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I give you a hundred dollars for uh, for those five catfish? Not yeah. going fishing? Uh, I am going fishing, sure. I'm just uh, just getting off to a good start, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is wild. She really jacked that money. Oh my gosh. That's why anytime uh, my family and I ever went to a hotel, we, we literally put everything that's valuable back into the vehicle that we're taking if we're, uh, if we've gone anywhere outside of um, where we live. No, you do not. That is my money, and I'm taking it. Relax, relax. Just no. Well, it's fuck is Omar Navarro. He's the guy you need to worry about. Who is Omar Navarro? Omar Navarro. What do you mean technically? I mean technically, it's not my money. It's his, and I'm I'm responsible for it. 
Oh, so you need fuck. To think this through. <laughs> that the only question you guys need to be asking is are you murderers you steal that money you're gonna have to kill me because there's another man who works for mr navarro a very serious man and he's gonna come to town he's gonna ask me where that money is and if i'm still alive i'm gonna have to tell him that the langmores stole it at which point he's gonna find someone with your last name and start removing their skin who's the weak link here hmm Who's got the big mouth? Who's the weak link with the big mouth and dates the trashy women and drinks too much or the trashy men? Who is it? Who's the irresponsible one that's going to burn through theirs in like five years? Oh, damn. Do they threaten to rat you out for stealing the money and killing me? Because don't forget, for all this to work, you got to kill me. And did you know that Missouri has the death penalty? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm out. Yeah. Three. Oh, yeah. Good choice. I'm sorry about Charlotte. Not good enough. <laughs> Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Hmm. He probably does. I don't know. Wow. A lot of money. Whoo! What happened here? Oh. The heck is that? The chicken wing? I'm just playing. Oh, those are teeth. Oh. Oh, I think when. Oh, okay. None of your damn business. I'm just playing. <laughs> and he works at the Blue Cat Lodge. Ah, Blue Cat. <laughs> your son just, your son just gave you the answer to your problems. I don't, Wendy. This was a dodge. This was a lie. No one can wash eight million dollars down here. Not in three months. That he, I mean, he's got no reason to, uh... To what? Uh, he, he has no reason to kill, to yeah. kill us. I this is wild. Whew. Bruh, go to Blue Cat, the lodge. This is it right there. There you go. Yeah, go to. You gotta try. You gotta try one last thing before you do that. Whoo! No, no, no! Go cancel it before you accidentally click send. Hey, pal. Tell me more about the Blue Cat Lodge. There you go. There you go. There you go. Flip that baby. Yeah. And then before you know it, it's Labor Day. And I'm in hock to you and the bank. And you force a sale, recoup your investment with interest. I don't need you for that, Marty, because I can fuck things up all by myself. So get out. I mean, why does he have to feel bad just so you can feel good? Plus, when you disrespect him, you yeah. disrespect this yeah. whole place. I was going to say some shit. There you go. Mom, what are we doing here? <sighs> Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. Oh, my gosh. You just told him. Shit, you're not. At least you're up front with them. Oh, this is wild. 
What an ending. Wild. Wild, wild, wild. <sighs> but there you go. Episode 2, except for episode 3. Um, not as much to talk about compared to episode 1. But just overall, and, and not a big reaction out of the thing. It was just setting up of the issues he's dealing with. And having to finally settle in. And it seems like he finally got them maybe to invest into him into uh oh, dang what's his name and to the main actor I can't, I can't think of his name at the moment uh but to invest in him to into him and hopefully he's able to get to the blue cat lodge which most likely he will and uh go from there but as a wild ending just telling them straight up um i get it i get it you got you gotta kind of be upfront with them a little bit just so they can stop acting like they, they are acting but on the other hand it's a little sketchy when you're having to have more multiple mouths be involved and somebody can slip up and that's kind of the one issue i have especially when they're kids but they seem like a, a good bunch even though um they like to rebel they seem like a good bunch of kids so at the same time we'll see this, this is definitely definitely wild um great episode two getting excited for episode three but yeah i will talk to y'all later peace